Okay, boys. Let's get to work. It's the first thing people see when they enter the castle, Dad. I mean, maybe we could remodel it or something. You know, make it warm and welcoming. That archway is an important line of defense, Rapunzel. It is imperative it conveys strength and security. Well, strength and security? Here's what you do. Lion statues. Oh, oh, better yet. Turn the archway into a giant lion's mouth. No, wait. Let's do the whole lion. Thank you, Eugene. I'll take those suggestions under advisement. Ah, oh, teamwork. Up high. Your Majesty. Right, you're eating. We're eating. Next time, then. Cool. You know, Blondie, you might want to start coming up with lion designs for that archway. I think that idea got some real traction with your dad. I'm sure the king loved your idea. You do realize he was just being polite and probably didn't want to call you a nitwit to your face. Cass, if my dad didn't like Eugene's ideas, I think he would just say so. Yeah, he's never been shy about calling me names to my face before. <laughs> Well, before you go and have your royal advisor nameplate made up, you should probably know that whenever the king wants to ignore an idea, he always says, I'll take it under advisement. Ha! Shows what you know. I clearly remember him saying, I'll... Take those suggestions under advisement. Oh no! He does think I'm an Edwin! And there it is! This changes everything! I cannot have a father-in-law who doesn't take me seriously! Why not? No one else takes you seriously? That's not true, Eugene. My dad thinks very highly of you. Though, maybe there are times you could be a bit more selective about the kinds of things you suggest to him. He is the king, after all. Et tu, Blondie? Okay, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I can fix this. Quick, name things your dad likes that I can pretend I also like to impress him. The emergency alarm. Equus? As in the kingdom next door, Equus? Mm-hmm. What's that got to do with my dad's statue? Why is it all messed up? Your dad's lifetime rival, King Trevor of Equus, likes to play pranks on him. By just drawing a silly face on dad's statue? I can't imagine any intelligent person finding this funny. <laughs> anyway, King Trevor always manages to thoroughly embarrass your father. I can hear you, Captain. And yes, I am embarrassed. Embarrassed for him, really. The very idea of a grown man partaking in such infantile boobery! I still don't get it. I'll explain later. Trevor has been trying to lure me into partaking in his shenanigans since our youth. Well, I won't partake. Do you hear me, Trevor? I won't partake! <laughs> I must partake. I can't take this embarrassment any longer. Ooh, I need a prank! I must show the people that despite that sign's proclamations, Equus does not rule. I agree, but how? Yes, how? By striking against that which he holds most dear, the very symbol of his land. You mean the seal of Equus? But, your majesty, the castle of Equus is impenetrable. In fact, only one man has ever successfully infiltrated its defenses. And he... You guys talking about me? Blondie, great news! Your dad just asked me to steal the royal seal of Equus for him. Stealing from Equus? That doesn't sound like a great idea. Did you know that they have over a thousand guards on duty at any given time? Yeah, 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 I know, but don't you see? It's the perfect way for me to prove to him I'm more than just some nitwit thief. By stealing something? No. By stealing something well. Hmm. Hey, come on, it's for the official royal prank. I'm pretty sure that makes it completely legal. Ish. Oh, well then let me come with you. I'm pretty good at surprises. 
Sorry, Blondie, but I've assessed the situation, and this is a one-man job. Luckily, Flynn Ryder does his best work alone. Let's go, partner! Wait, I'm sorry, you want to come with me? Of course I'm coming with you. You think I'm in the habit of dressing like this? Though this new dashing adventure suit I had made is quite slimming. I must witness Trevor's humiliation firsthand. Oh, yeah. See, um, <laughs> the thing is, I was thinking you wanted, you know, me to do it alone. Uh, not that I would love to have you along, it's just you probably have way more important. This is a matter of national pride, son. Of course it's important. And I specifically said we would steal the royal seal of Equus, remember? I do! I do re yes, you did say we. I thought you were using the royal we, you know, being king. Come on, let's do this. How'd you put it before? Teamwork! Up high! Yeah, you know when you say up high, you usually... Okie dokie, never mind. So, Your Majesty, I've drawn up this map based upon the brilliant way I got into Castle Equus before to show you how this is gonna go down. All we need to do is borrow a couple of uniforms and waltz right through the front door, eh? We're not doing that. We're not? Eugene, as king, I've received top military training. After studying this map, I can say with certainty that what is required here is stealthy ingress. And this is the perfect spot to do it. The Northeast Tower. The heavily guarded, impossibly fortified Northeast Tower. No one will expect it. <laughs> what's so fun about pranks anyway? Mostly, the look on the other person's face when they realize what's happening. So, it's supposed to surprise people? Well, it's more like a joke. But only the person responsible for it thinks it's funny. Oh! So, like the jokes my dad tells? No. There's more to it than that. You need to get somebody to expect one thing and then do something unexpected instead. It's basically entertainment for morons. Hmm. Unexpected, eh? By the time he wakes up, he'll be so well rested, he won't even know what hit him. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on his face. Unexpected. <laughs> but not clever. All is clear. Just follow my lead. Your Highness. Oh, huh? <laughs> Hello, guards. Yes! There! See? Easy. Eugene, I thought I said the guard uniforms were unnecessary. Come on! <laughs> oh, yeah, no, don't mind me. I'm just gonna scream into this for a little bit. <laughs> Okay, just follow my lead. Really? What was that? Better check it out. This way. They didn't spot me. Aha. Let's move out. Uh, you love Rapunzel, you love Rapunzel, you love Rapunzel. All I'm saying is, if you bring a quiche to work, you should bring enough to share with your coworkers. That's uh, just... Yeah, but and then it's just you don't even like quiche. Yeah, but that's... First of all, don't tell me what I don't like. No, I know you don't like quiche. Okay, because I, I like a lot of things, but you never point that out. You uh -huh. just tell me all the stuff I don't like. Yeah. Anyway, let's just get this done. Right. Okay, you start cleaning the spears. I'll work on the swords. all of the
these weapons before you could. You should see the look on your face. You've just been pranked. Or is it soon to be called Rapunzel? That was clever, but not funny. <sighs> the Royal Seal Room. How do you like that, Eugene? Told you. <coughs> Flawless plan. Behind that curtain lies the Royal Seal of Equus. Oh, sweet revenge. It's a seal. Indeed. The Royal Seal of Equus. It's a seal. Seal, not a royal seal. It is a seal seal owned by a king, thus a royal seal. <laughs> hmm? You have got to be kidding. You, you know what? You know what? At this point, never mind. Just grab your end and let's get out of here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what are you doing? Leaving a calling card, so Trevor knows it was I who did this? What should I paint, hmm? Eye patch, stink lines, perhaps a tear, representing his imminent humiliation at being bested by me. No! None of those things should you paint! Let us go now! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need your grappling hook. You're the expert. What are we going to do now? Oh, oh, so when you say we, do you still mean the royal we, which is actually you telling me how to fix this? Well, no, I'm saying we as in us. Is that the royal us? Because it still sounds like it's just me. I asked you to come so that we could get the seal. Okay, okay, so now I'm confused. You said I and we in the same sentence, which I'm finding means the same thing. Not to mention the fact that I couldn't get the proper definition of seal from you. Ah, hey guys. Hey, you guys. Would you believe that we're the chandelier repairmen? <laughs> Repairing in the middle of the night. Because this thing is broken. <laughs> well, this prank has gone horribly awry. Listen, I'm sorry I lost my cool. It's just, this whole prank was my big chance to get you to take me seriously. Take you seriously? Yeah, and I was getting frustrated when I wasn't able to do that. I know, it was dumb. You know, there are many things I fail to take seriously. Eugene, son, you brought my daughter home to me after 18 long years. If there's one man in the whole world I take very seriously, it's you. Wow, thanks, your majesty. Can I ask then, why, why didn't you listen to my ideas? You know, I suppose sometimes I let good ones slip through the cracks. I should have given your plan more consideration. What you should have done was stayed in your own kingdom, Frederick. Trevor. Your efforts to abscond with my sweet Trevor Jr. were comical at best. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't think your seal's too happy there. <laughs> of course he's not. The poor little darling is traumatized by what you did to him. All right, Trevor, you've had your laughs. Now release us. Oh. I'll let you go, but not until I parade you through town in nothing but a jester's hat, proving once again that Equus is superior to Corona. For now, I leave you here to wallow in the stench of your own defeat. <laughs> <sighs> Trevor's right. Oh, come on, you don't smell that bad. Plus, it's mostly seal. I meant I deserve to wear nothing but a jester's hat.
Uh, Your Majesty? What the heck does King Trevor know anyway? Once again, he's shown himself to be the more accomplished prankster. Accomplished? His prank wasn't even funny! I mean, I laughed, a little, but still, all around, not that funny. Yes, that's true. His pranks are always more grating than they are humorous. Totally grating. Hey, hey. That's it. What's it? What are you doing? I'm getting us out of here. The question is, are you willing to try it my way? I'm more impressed or insulted, you know what I'm saying? Open the door! Oh no, King Trevor's gonna have our necks for this. Lose something? <laughs> Quickly, if we go back the way we came, he might not see us. Wait. Follow my lead. Well, well. It appears someone hasn't learned their lesson yet. Okay, okay, look, you got us. This one is completely our fault. Oh, yes. Uh, we wanted to pull some sort of prank so that all this wouldn't be in vain. Uh, really? And, and what were you going to do in there, pray tell? Well, I thought it'd be funny to slip into the library and rearrange the periodicals. Historians hate that. That is the worst idea for a prank I have ever heard. And in true coronant fashion, you would have failed again. That's the real door to the library. Uh, no, nope, no it's not. I'm pretty sure this is the library. You imbecile! This is my castle! I know where my library is! Eh, agree to disagree. I'll prove it! You see... Ha 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 ha! Forgot about your own top-notch security for a second, didn't ya? Well played, Eugene. Very well played. Up high! <laughs> <gasps> yeah! Let me up, Frederick! There's spiders down here! Spiders! Ah! One just touched me! <clears throat> Trevor Jr., are you clapping? Does it better than claps of sorrow? Would you look at that? I finally humiliated Trevor. Oh, Your Majesty! We have not yet begun to humiliate that guy. Oh my. Gotcha, Dad! <laughs> oh man, you should see the look on your face right now. Well, I suppose it's fine. As long as you girls repaint the archway. By nightfall. Obviously, Dad. Of course, Your Majesty. Well, Raps, you finally figured out this whole prank thing. Yes! It was unexpected, clever, funny, and mischievous. But you overlooked one of the most important parts of any good prank. You didn't think it through. We both still have to repaint the archway by nightfall, remember? 
Sorry, but I've got princess duties to attend to. Looks like you're gonna have to do it all by yourself. Still believe I didn't think it through? Kidding! You just got pranked! Ha <laughs> ha! I totally got you! You should have seen the look on your face. I just got rapunzel Well played, Raps. Very well played. Well, Your Majesty, did you do it? Did you get the seal? Unfortunately, no, Captain. However, Eugene came up with something far better. Curse you, Frederick! Frederick, curse you!